Good morning, primary ones and twos. It's Miss Farquharson and Miss Cram here. I hope you're all well and that you've had a good week with your learning so far. Now, this morning, we are going to be taking you through your lesson today, again, all about letter writing. So today, we are going to be carrying on our learning from last week and we are learning to write a letter. But we're also learning to identify the main features of a letter. And I think Miss Cram told you last week that the word features just means the main parts of a letter. So we're thinking about if we were writing a letter, what are the main things we would need to put in it to make it clear that it was a letter? You might remember that last week, Miss Cram read you this letter here from both of us and you used this letter to then write a letter to either a friend or a letter back to one of us. So today we are going to be writing another letter which Miss Cram will explain in a wee while. But for our letter writing today, we're actually going to need to listen to this story here first because this story will help us understand a little bit more about the reason we might write letters and what a letter needs to include. So everyone, here is the book that we are going to use this week to help us write another letter. And I think most of you will have heard this story before when we've been at school. This book is called Dear Dinosaur and it's written by Che Strathy and Nicola O'Byrne. And this book has got lots of different types of letters in it and lots of ways that you would write to someone. So we are going to use this story to help us write another letter this week. Dear Dinosaur. Max had been looking forward to visiting the big museum for ages. It had everything from snails and whales to moon rocks and mammoths. But best of all, there were dinosaurs. His favourite was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at the size of those teeth, gasped Max. They are whoppers, aren't they? said a museum curator, popping up from behind a triceratops. They call me Dinosaur Dora, she said. We're about to close, but you can come back any time. We live too far away, sighed Max, and I have lots of questions. Well, why don't you write our T-Rex a letter, said Dinosaur Dora. He might even write back. When Max got home, he got to work. Dear Dinosaur, I came to see you today. You are my favourite dinosaur in the whole world. Would you mind if I asked you some questions about being a dinosaur? Bye for now, Max. He put the letter in the post box. Then he waited. And waited until one morning... There was a reply on the envelope. It's got his address. It says, Max, the small human, <laughs> 105 Short Road, village far away. Let's have a look at what the reply said. Dear Max, roar! Yours, scarily, T-Rex. P.S. I am a terrifying, sharp-toothed, super-strong king of the dinosaurs. I am longer than a bus. I do not write nice letters to small children. I eat them. Oh, dear. <laughs> Yikes, said his mummy. I'm not scared, said Max. This one's for you, Rex. Dear dinosaur. That was quite rude. There's no need to show off. Here's how loud I can roar. Roar! 
It's not quite as impressive, but I'm only six and I don't have a head the size of a sofa like you do. I was wondering what you eat. Have you ever had a sausage? I could send you one if you like. I have to go for my bath in a minute. What is your favourite bath toy? Bye for now, Max. P.S. Can you write or does somebody have to help you? Now, when we put P.S. at the bottom of a letter, that's just for adding a little bit of extra information or maybe a little extra question that you'd forgotten to put in the first bit of the letter. Dear Max, of course I can write. That's why T-Rexes have such small hands, so we can hold a pencil. I have never had a sausage. I mainly used to eat other dinosaurs. My favourite was Triceratops. It's a bit embarrassing, as my best friend here at the museum is a Triceratops. We don't talk about food much. Please do not send me a sausage, unless it is a sausageosaurus the size of a house. I sometimes have a dip in the fish pond. I don't think the fish are too keen. I do not have a bath toy. If you are six, that means I'm... 65,999,994 years older than you. Actually, it's my birthday next week. Roar! You're scarily T-Rex. Happy birthday! So here's another way that you could write to someone. You might write a card. Dear Dinosaur, Happy birthday! On my birthday, I had a cake in the shape of a dinosaur. Then we played football in the garden. Have you ever played football? How fast can you run? I am third fastest in my class. I have sent a present for you. Bye for now, Max. P.S. This is a sausageosaurus. <laughs> and then it looks like Max gets a letter back. Dear Max, you don't seem to be nearly as scared as you should be. Your legs should have turned to jelly by now. Thank you for your card and rubber duck. I'm really looking forward to my next dip. We had a birthday party here after everyone went home. Then we played football, just like you. It was fun until the mammoth knocked over a 2,000-year-old vase with his bottom. Roar! Yours dinosaurly, T-Rex. P.S. I can run really fast. I would probably win all the races at your school sports day. Dear Dinosaur, I have some very exciting news. Yesterday my first tooth fell out. Dad said a big one will grow in its place. I have sent you the tooth as I will not be needing it. Bye for now, Max. P.S. I went to see my sister Millie doing a ballet show yesterday. She had to wear a pink tutu. Imagine if dinosaurs did ballet. Dear Max, thank you for the tooth. It is so tiny. My teeth are a bit bigger than that. Some are as long as a ruler and my bite is three times stronger than a lion's. I have a pal here called Compsognathus. He is only a little bigger than a chicken, one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. He was missing a tooth. And yours looks splendid in the space. Now you're part of a dinosaur. Perhaps we should call you Maxasaurus Rex. Yours toothily, T-Rex. P.S. I would like to see a dinosaur ballet. I might get Triceratops to dress up in a pink tutu. Tee hee. Oh, now it looks like Max is on holiday. And this time, instead of writing a letter, he's written a postcard. That's another way you could write to someone. Let's see what it says. Dear Dinosaur, I'm on holiday. I have been digging on the beach looking for fossils, but so far I've only found three lolly sticks and a flip-flop. Do you know where the best place to find dinosaur bones is? Bye for now, Max. P.S. Mum said we can visit the museum on the way back. She and Dad said I have to say thank you to Dinosaur Dora for writing to me. But I know it was really you. Oh, this is a good way of writing to someone. T-Rex has written an email this time. It says, Dear Max, 
I wish I was on holiday with you. Imagine the sand castle I could build. Speaking of sand, the desert is the best place to find bones and fossils. I look forward to seeing you soon and promise not to eat you. Your friend, T-Rex. P.S. Of course it is me writing to you, silly grown-ups. Back at the museum, Dinosaur Dora was fussing around the Triceratops when Max and his parents arrived. Something funny has been going on here, she said. The Triceratops is wearing a tutu. There's definitely something different about that little one's smile. And the T-Rex just won't let go of that rubber duck. Dear Dinosaur, thank you for writing to me. Dino pals forever. Roar! Maxosaurus Rex, friends forever. And that is the end of the Dear Dinosaur story, everyone. So, Miss Cram is now going to explain how we are going to use this book in our writing today. Hi, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the story of Dear Dinosaur. It is Miss Cram speaking now. I am going to be taking you through the letter that we are going to write, just like Miss Farquharson was explaining to you before. So like Miss Farquharson's already said, we are learning to write a letter today, but we're also learning to identify the main features of a letter that we were looking at last week. So here is the template of a letter. And we are just going to have a quick look at the different parts of a letter. So to help us with our understanding of what we're going to do today, I am going to fill in the different parts of an example letter that I have written to Rex. Because that's what you are going to be doing today. You are going to write a letter to Rex from the Dear Dinosaur story. Can you remember the first feature of a letter that we write? What's the first thing that we write on our letter? Well done if you remembered, it is our address. So I am going to put in here, because this is where we write the address in the, on a letter, at the top right hand corner, and I'm going to write down the school address, like we put in our letter, like Miss Farquharson and I put in our letter to you last week. So Borough Primary School, Gala Park, Gala Shields, TD1, 1EZ. Can you remember what comes after our address? Yeah, it's our date. Well done. So the date goes here underneath the address and I've put the 28th of January 2021 because I think that'll be the date that you're watching this video but if it's not, that's okay. Just maybe ask a grown-up to help you if it's a different date. So next is who our letter is for which goes in this space here. So I am writing my letter to Rex, so I'm going to say Dear Rex, and I've put a comma after Rex as well to show that I take a little pause before I start to write the next part of my letter. So our next feature of our letter is going to be our message. So our message to Rex, because that's who we're writing this letter to. And the message goes here, so it goes underneath where we have put who the letter's for. And I've said, I really enjoyed reading about you and your friends in the museum. I was wondering what it is like to live in a museum. Do you like it? Is it cold at night time? What is your favourite food? Mine is pizza. So after our message, our next feature is our goodbye message. So we were talking about this last week. We might say see you soon. We might say goodbye. And this goes underneath our message. Now, because I haven't met Rex before and I don't know Rex, what I put for my goodbye message was yours sincerely. Because this is something that you write sometimes if you're writing a letter 
to somebody you don't know. So I've written yours sincerely. And then after we've written our goodbye message, it is our name. So we sign the letter. So this goes underneath our goodbye message. And I've just said, from Miss Cram. So this is where you would put your name at the end of your letter. But just before we finish there, there was something that Miss Farquharson was speaking about as she was reading the story to you. And that is this PS message that goes at the bottom. So maybe you've got something else to say or something you forgot to say in your letter. And it goes underneath your name. So I've written PS, I like the Triceratopsis tutu. So now it is your turn to write a letter to Rex. So you can use some of the ideas in my letter to help you or you can go back and watch the part of the video again where Miss Farquharson was reading you the Dear Dinosaur story or you might already have your own ideas of what you want to say to Rex or maybe what you want to ask Rex. So if you have a look on the website or the Teams page you will find a letter template if you would like to use it as well. Miss Farquharson and I are very excited to see what your letters to Rex are like. So if you could maybe get a grown up to take a picture of your letter once you have finished it and upload it to your Teams page or send it in an email to me or Miss Farquharson. I'll see you all soon. Bye.